It's hard to believe, but it's already 2024. Los Santos and GTA Online is still, well, Los Santos, crazy, chaotic, and weirdly captivating. With GTA 6 on the horizon, a lot of folks are wondering, is GTA Online still kicking? How the game is doing? Look, I get it. I've been playing this game since practically launch day, and I've seen its ups and downs. So today, we're gonna look into the state of GTA Online in 2024. We'll talk about the latest updates, the current player situation, if newbies can even stand a chance, and most importantly, is this thing still fun? Hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and let's get started. In 2024, GTA Online occupies a fascinating space in gaming. On the surface, its age can't be ignored. Launched alongside GTA 5 in 2013, it is still one of the most played games considering the age. Rockstar's dedication with their updates breathes life into the experience. New heists, outrageous vehicles, and even entire gameplay modes are regularly added, keeping both the older audience and newer players engaged. This, coupled with the free-to-play model, attracts a steady stream of newcomers. It might not be the shiny new toy on the shelf anymore, but GTA Online remains a well-populated playground for those who are still willing to play the game. In 2024, GTA Online is still popular. Even though everyone's hyped about GTA 6 coming soon, GTA Online is still going strong. One big reason is that Rockstar keeps adding content frequently. They don't just drop it all at once, though. It's like they're slowly dripping out new things, from heists to awesome cars and even whole new ways to play. Sure, it's not the brand new game everyone's talking about, but GTA Online is still a big deal. These days, the player base in GTA Online is a mixed bag. You've got your regular players, the modders, the grinders, and then there are those infamous griefers. Let's break it down. First off, you've got the modders. These are the folks who tweak the game code to do all sorts of crazy stuff. Sometimes it's harmless fun, like adding new cars or outfits. Other times, it's more controversial, with modders giving themselves unfair advantages in online matches. Either way, they're definitely part of the scene, for better or worse. Then there are the grinders. These players are all about putting in the time and effort to earn money and level up their characters. They're the ones you'll see doing endless missions and heists just to afford that sweet new ride or fancy apartment. It's all about the grind for them, and they're not afraid to put in the hours to get what they want. And of course, you can't forget about the griefers. These are the troublemakers of the bunch, always causing chaos and ruining other players' fun. They'll attack you for no reason, blow up your car just for kicks, or even hack the game to mess with everyone. Dealing with griefers is just part of the GTA Online experience, unfortunately. But most players learn to watch their backs and handle them when they come around. So, is GTA Online still a blast in 2024? Well, it depends on who you ask and what you're into. For many players, yeah, it's still a ton of fun. There's always something new to do, whether it's checking out the latest updates, diving into crazy player-created missions, or just cruising around the city with friends. But there are some downsides too. For one thing, the game's been out for a while now, so some folks might be feeling a bit burnt out. After years of playing, the missions and activities can start to feel a bit repetitive. Plus, there's the whole issue of dealing with griefers and modders, which can really put a damper on your experience if you run into them too often. On top of that, some players feel like the games become too focused on making money, with all the expensive cars, properties, and other goodies up for grabs. It can sometimes feel like you're stuck in a never-ending grind just to afford everything. And while some players thrive on that kind of gameplay, others might find it a bit tiresome after a while. But despite its flaws, GTA Online still has a lot going for it. The game world is massive and incredibly detailed, with tons of hidden secrets and easter eggs to discover. And with new updates and content drops still happening regularly, there's always something new to check out. So while it might not be as fresh and exciting as it once was, GTA Online is still a pretty fun place to hang out. In 2024, whether or not you should still dive into GTA Online really comes down to personal preference. If you're someone who enjoys open-world mayhem, teaming up with friends for crazy missions, and exploring a vast virtual playground, then yeah, 
GTA Online is still worth playing. Despite its age, the game continues to offer a unique and immersive experience that few other titles can match. However, if you're looking for something fresh and groundbreaking, or if you're easily frustrated by the game's occasional glitches and disruptive player behavior, you might want to consider other options. While GTA Online has certainly stood the test of time, it's not without its flaws. And there are plenty of newer games out there vying for your attention. Ultimately, whether or not you should still be playing GTA Online in 2024 depends on what you're looking for in a gaming experience. Thanks for tuning into this discussion about GTA Online in 2024. Whether you're a veteran player who's been around since day one or a newcomer curious about jumping into the chaos of Los Santos, we hope this video has given you some insight into what the game has to offer today. Remember, while GTA Online may have its ups and downs, it's ultimately up to you to decide whether it's still worth your time. Remember to subscribe to the channel. I'm Vortex, and I'll see you in the next one.